wherever we have a voltage source with its inner impedance in series in a circuit, we can convert that into a current source with its inner impedance in parallel. These two circuits are called the Thevenin circuit and the Norton circuit, called after their inventors. For a specific load impedance set L, which is the same in both cases, that means that the current flowing through that load impedance is the same in both circuits, and so is the voltage across that load impedance here and there. Now the load impedance can be a whole other circuit. It is just summarized into a single impedance here called set L, where the index L stands for load. But it can be ways more than that. Set L is just used as an equivalent impedance here. So the electrical conditions, the voltage and the current phaser, which are important for the load, are the same in both cases. We basically have two parameters on each side characterizing our load. In the Thevenin circuit, we have the Thevenin voltage, which is equal to the open load voltage. That means we remove set L and leave the terminals open. And in the Norton case, we have the short circuit current. That means we short the load on the nodes where it is attached to the source. Here we get the short circuit current of that source. And in both cases, we have the inner impedance, that is a series impedance in the Thevenin case, or a parallel impedance in the Norton case, which is one over the admittance. And we can calculate that impedance by dividing the upper open load voltage with the short circuit current and note that both of them are phasers. Therefore, Ohm's law allows us to convert back and forth between Norton and Thevenin.